Hi, my name is Dr. Kathleen Barnes. I'm Senior Vice President of Population Genomics Health at Tempest Labs, and I'm also the Founding Director of the Colorado Center for Personalized Medicine at the University of Colorado here in the United States. And I just wanted to share a couple thoughts around pharmacogenomics. Big question is, what is pharmacogenomics? We refer to it as PGX. And basically, it uses an individual's genetic information along with other clinical factors to make informed decisions about drug selection and dosing. And the goal of PGX is really to minimize trial and error that's associated with drug prescribing in order to maximize the efficiency and reduce adverse effects associated with that drug. This is really an exciting time in precision medicine because implementation of preemptive comprehensive PGX in the clinical setting is really gaining momentum. And this is due in part to the availability of the evidence-based clinical practice guidelines that give us the recommendations for translating PGX test results for a large number of drug gene pairs. Um, but also this is combined with the ability to generate clinically actionable PGX data and integrate those results into the health system at uh, costs that are substantially lower than before. Um, and really with, with great ease. Now, while there are tens of thousands of these variants that we refer to as drug gene pairs, to be precise, there's over 44,000 genome-wide PGX markers that span more than 2,000 um, pharmacogenomic targets, but these variants have been shown to potentially impact a patient's response to a specific drug. Now, in the clinical implementation of PGX, we think it's important to rely on recommendations from national and international reference organizations. These include organizations such as the Clinical Pharmacogenetics Implementation Consortium, we call it CPIC, or the Pharmacogenomics Knowledge Base, or PharmGKB. This ensures the strictest evidence-based decision-making around PGX. Why is PGX important? We think there's tremendous value proposition for comprehensive preemptive PGX to both the patient and the health system. On the individual level, consider that 95% of the population carries at least one genetic variant that's discordant with at least one medication. And 80% of the patient population will have an atypical response to a medication at some point in their lifetime. In the United States, we've estimated a $7,000 reduction in cost per patient with preemptive PGX. And comprehensive PGX also reduces costs associated with adverse drug reactions. So bear in mind, again, that at least in the U.S., adverse drug reactions have a significant impact on healthcare costs. It costs more than $30 billion annually, and it represents about 10 to up to 30% of all hospital admissions. Comprehensive PGX testing can predict 20 to 30% of those adverse reactions. It can significantly reduce adverse drug reaction associated deaths, and it reduces hospital admissions by somewhere around 50%. So to this end, comprehensive PGX benefits a large proportion of the patient population in a health system. And then finally, how is PGX useful for clinicians? So as a provider, imagine a world where your patient's PGX profile is already captured in the medical record. And at the time of prescribing, just as you would know whether or not your patient is allergic to a particular antibiotic, in which case you wouldn't prescribe that antibiotic, you would also know which antiplatelet drug to prescribe to your patient, which SSRI to prescribe to your patient with clinical depression, or whether or not the chemotherapy that's ordered is safe for the patient. And now imagine a world where that information on multiple drug gene pairs representing multiple clinical conditions that may be relevant to your patient throughout their life's journey is at your fingertips. So I'll close with, um, again, advocating for comprehensive uh, preemptive PGX in the health system. I look forward to hearing what um, you all are going to achieve um, in your system. And it's really a delight to share my enthusiasm about this, this area of precision medicine. Thank you.